Hi everyone, Dr. Karen here. We are talking about the seven steps you need to do to have an amazing career. I've been doing this for over 25 years and we work with companies globally and really work with both business owners, uh, entrepreneurs, but also employees that sometimes want to kind of do something different. They want to pivot into something, uh, into a new arena. So whether or not you are a teenager, you're a young adult, you're an adult that really wants to do something a little bit different, this video is actually for you. The stats are kind of uh, pretty dismal, actually. Only 23% of people actually say they're thriving in their life and their career. And so the question is, how do we be part of that 20%? So the seven steps, everybody, to really help us that we can all do, all right, that we can all do. So the first one is, and I was speaking at a conference, it was an educational conference, and this is this was the topic that they wanted me to kind of cover. So the first thing you want to do is you really want to know yourself. Know thyself. Know thyself. And this is an important, really, really important skill at, that we have to kind of know who we are, our personality type, our profile, uh, what is our kind of our hardwiring, what energizes us, what, what depletes us. There's lots of different assessment tools that can kind of help you with that. Um, and I just realized we have a free uh, career cheat sheet that if you would like to receive, just uh, hit, say yes in the comments below and somebody from our team will actually get the, uh, give that out to you. Um, and of course, if you like these videos, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you are notified with some other really helpful videos to help you in your, in your journey in, in business and career and your life. So the first thing is you really have to know yourself. Uh, again, lots of different, different assessment tools that you can use to really help yourself understand who you are. Because if we know actually who we are and we know with what energizes us, that kind of helps to take that wide, 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 um, you know, that, that big decision and it starts to kind of funnel it. Okay. So that's kind of like the, the first one. And when, when I actually, when I encourage clients to kind of know yourself, I encourage them to understand both their personality profile, the industries that are interesting for them, and then also uh, their value system. It's those three parts that I find the most critical for all of us to really understand. Um, and we have a free, um, or sorry, we have a, a course for those of you who want to go a little bit deeper. We have a course called Find Your Dream Career that kind of goes into a lot more detail about that. Um, and you can go see that at our website, www.dkleadership.org. So just a resource for those of you who actually need it. Okay, so not, tip number one, know thyself. Tip number two, you got to develop yourself. So we work with companies around the world and we see this over and over again, that there's really two parts when you're talking about developing yourself, you want to look at both developing your IQ, your technical skills, your education, still very, very important, but you also want to make sure you're developing your EQ. It's what we call leadership, emotional intelligence. That's what we as a company, that's what we specialize in. That's what we're focused in. And so where the IQ is tends to be more genetic, EQ is actually more learned. And so you want to really make sure you're developing and honing your leadership EQ as well. And again, we have another free scorecard you can get off of our website, uh, www.dkleadership.org to get that. And so yeah, in the marketplace, in the, in the workforce, that's what, that's what employers are looking for. They want the technical, they want the education, they want, they want those boxes to be checked off. But what really sets people apart when they actually enter that workforce is actually their EQ skills, things like their communication skills, relationship skills, time management, stress management. In the scorecard, it goes into a lot more detail, okay? So, so that's what you really want to make sure that you're developing. Number three, you got to understand the job market. Um, you know, I've been doing this work for over 25 years. It's amazing to me of how some markets are growing, some are shrinking. So you want to make sure that when you want to have a really amazing career, you're going into an arena that there's a lot of possibilities because what you don't want is to have this dream career and you kind of go down this path and you do all the education and you do all the certification only to find that the market has actually has been shrinking. And so do your due diligence and really research in terms of is the market, is there, is there going to be jobs in this in the next 5, 10, 20 years? And obviously nobody knows the future, but if, when you talk to people within that particular industry, most of them will actually have um, a good handle on with what the job market is. Okay, so that's really important. So that's number three. Number four is stretch yourself. So let's say you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, you're now in your quote unquote, your dream career, don't get, um, don't get, I, what's the word that I would actually say? Just, just make sure that you're stretching yourself. Look for opportunities. 
you know, when I entered the world of psychology 25 years ago, I knew it was kind of like counseling psychology. That was kind of the area. But then I actually kind of started expanding to teenagers. Then I focused on millennials. Then I focused on millennials in the workforce. Then I focused on leadership, emotional intelligence, and millennials. And now we're focusing on leadership, to, uh, emotional intelligence for all levels of leaders. So I evolved. And so it's really important that whatever your industry is, if you want to have a really long, amazing, thriving career and part of that 20%, You've got to evolve with yourself. So you kind of go in the industry, but you look for opportunities. You look for um, gaps. You look for areas that are maybe niches within that industry. And you kind of stretch and you grow and you read and you research and you talk to people. And not only is that really great for us just mentally and intellectually, but it gets us kind of excited. So, so that's, the, that's the next one, all right, is stretching yourself. That's number four. Number five is you want to build a network. And as you are expanding okay you're expanding you're looking for niche opportunities you're looking for other ways to kind of explore build your network you're going to hear this from your teachers and your parents and your grandparents and probably all kinds of people but it really is because it's true and a lot of people will say your net worth is really about your network and um when i started this industry i don't think i knew like anybody my network was like zero and I just kind of started reaching out and putting my hand up and asking to go for lunches and breakfasts and coffees with people. And lots of people didn't respond, but there were some people that did respond. And so you start kind of like in your area, in your, in your niche, and you start kind of expanding your network and you listen and with what are people looking for? What are they needing? Where are the gaps? Um, and so as you're exploring and you're expanding, you want to make sure that you're expanding, exploring your network. Next one in number six is find yourself a mentor. This was a game changer. I've talked about this on some of the other YouTube videos. Uh, when I got myself a mentor, it was a game changer for me because I strategically chose a mentor that had skills that I did not have. And so in my case, my training was all in psychology and counseling. Um, and I really wanted to develop more skills around entrepreneurship and leadership and marketing. And so that is the mentor and mentors that I actually reached out to. So figure out what are the gaps that you have, no problem, lean into it. And who do you know that is in your circle that, or maybe from your colleagues or friends or neighbors or parents of friends, like just kind of start exploring, who do I know that maybe has this skill in that and, and ask them to be your mentor. So that is number six. And the seventh one, and you're hearing probably a lot more about it, which is kind of, I think, a little bit more fun, is think about developing a side hustle. You know, it's, um, then the stats are people have between nine and 11 careers in their lifetime. Okay, so when we think about having an amazing career, you have to think about evolving and, and um, exploring and expanding. And for a lot of people, they actually have something that's a side hustle. Uh, for me, our, my side hustle was interior design. It's been designed for a long time. And that side hustle has become another business. And that was just kind of something that was kind of fun and on the side. It's still a side hustle, um, but it's something that I just love to do. And you know, a lot of people can have like two different kind of careers. You have what I call the primary and the secondary. The primary for me is certain the leadership development in our, in our global co coaching company. But then I have this other little side hustle that's just pure fun. And so don't be afraid to kind of play with a couple of things. Sometimes people say, you know, I want to go into medicine, but I like photography. Okay, then you do both. And one will be probably your primary, one will be kind of your secondary. But, you know, there's lots of different parts of being a person. We have lots of layers to it. So just remember that it doesn't mean that you just have to have one lane. You can have one primary. Certainly, you'll have a profession that will take up a lot more of your energy and your focus, but doesn't mean that you can't have a little side hustle over on the side that can kind of just also fill your cup and that can energize you. So you can kind of get a little fun and creative with it as you're thinking about what does a dream career, an amazing career look like for you? So hopefully those seven tips have helped. And like I said, uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and hit yes, write down yes, if you would like to receive either the dream career sheet, cheat sheet or the leadership EQ scorecard is a couple of great resources just to help you um, in your journey.